All right, VV Nation, now time is money, so let's go ahead and jump right into it to this week's Market Insights. Now, that being said, earnings very light as we approach the end of our earnings calendar here. Now, tomorrow we do have GameStop after the bell. Wednesday, before the market open, we have Carnival, CUK. And Thursday, that's the last big name here, is Walgreens, also before the bell. All right, pretty light this week. This morning, we do have several members of the Fed speaking throughout the morning here. Now, come Tuesday, we have durable good orders at 8.30 in the morning. However, the big news at 10 a.m. is going to be this consumer confidence. Now, come Wednesday, is just another Fed governor speaking at 6 p.m. Now, Thursday here, we do have initial jobless claims. Also, on top of that, we have consumer sentiment at 10 a.m. Now, Friday, we do have quite a bit of economic data coming out here. We've got the advanced U.S. trade balance and goods, advanced retail inventories, wholesale inventories, personal income, personal spending, along with the core PCE index. All right, the two big headlines this morning, the first having to do with Boeing. Big shakeup when it comes to their management this morning. Now, they did announce that Dave Calhoun, the CEO, will be stepping down at the end of this year. On top of that, the chairman of the board, Larry Kellner, will also be stepping down come May at the annual meeting. And at last, Stan Deal, the CEO of the commercial airplane unit, will also be out effective immediately. Now, the second big headline I found this morning having to do with semiconductors. You can see here the chip war rages on between the U.S. and China. The headlines right here, China's new guidelines block Intel and AMD chips and government computers. This was introduced over this past week and along with new guidelines aimed at blocking Intel and AMD chips and government PCs and servers. This comes as China has been boosting its domestic semiconductor industry as it seeks to reduce reliance on foreign technology. Now, as we jump into the vector seven system we could see all the major indices are down today however look at the vector vest composite some resilience here up slightly at just 0.08 percent now the color guard we are seeing yellow lights starting to dominate across the board here thus the color guard is neutral and vector vest advocates caution when buying stocks at this time now that being said our market timing signal such as the primary wave is still up right now even the confirmed call which went up as of march 20th here so recently is still up right now that being said i'm a little bit more optimistic than pest pessimistic in the market right now. All right, so now let's go through the charts and see what the market is trying to tell us here. We're going to start with the SPY. We see the three is above the eight-day exponential moving average, above the 20-day, above this longer-term trend line here. If I go back six months, you can see this trend line has been established for quite some time here. So everything looks good. No reason to really take a whole lot of caution at this time. Next up, we got the Qs here. Did show some weakness, but found a level support right at the 20-day exponential moving average. We see the three crossed above the eight, which is where it remains right now. So still bullish on the Qs right now. We did get a gap lower. However, we do see some buying pressure coming in this morning. Now for the VectorVest composite, same scenario here. Found support right at that 20-day exponential moving average. Three above the eight right now. So again, all the momentum is still to the upside looking at these moving averages here. Now I do have NVIDIA on the list here. I did want to bring this to your attention. It's trading at 961 right now. If we take a look at the prior high coming at 974. So we could see price action eclipse this high and form a new high as of today here. We're just about $12, $13 away from doing that as of right now. Now, AMD under the pressure here, one of the headlines this morning, we see the three below the eight day exponential moving average and below the 20 day exponential moving average caught right back in this channel here. I'm not a buyer of AMD at this time, especially with this negative news coming out. So I'd like to see how the company responds like Nvidia had to before. Now here we've got Boeing finding a level support here at 176. You know, we see a lot of selling pressure over the last three months here. Now we did get a gap up today based on the news coming out. However, all those gains have been given up here. Currently trading just above $190 at this time. Now here we've got Intel, we see price action gap below this level of support here, 4156. Buyers trying to come in, keep us in that support zone here, currently trading at 4168. However, look, all three of these moving averages against us right now, showing this bearish momentum to the downside picking up. All right, VB Nation. Now, I hope you enjoyed this week's market insights. We did a lot this week, everything from the earnings calendar, jumping into the Vector S7 system and taking a look at some charts. Now, I hope this was a big help when it comes to planning your week ahead when it comes to investing. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can keep you updated going forward. 